Hey everyone, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum. Welcome to my messy kitchen again. <laughs> messy hair, just don't care. It's super late at night as per usual, so we're cleaning. And this video is going to be a couple of different days worth of stuff because I got some motivation to do some mega cleaning. So as per usual, we are doing the dishes and then we are unpacking all of the shopping that I've done. And then I have to film all of that. I have a grocery haul and I have a stockpile haul. And then I did some other bits and pieces which you will see coming up on the channel. So yes, it was mega busy. I decided to fill the dishwasher as per usual and pack it and then decided that the filter was dirty as per usual. <laughs> so I took that out to have a clean and thought I'd just give this a little bit of a scrub over. But clearly I'm going to want to get in here and give it more of a clean over. Filter's clean enough for now. We'll run the dishwasher, turn it on and then hopefully we can get back to it and clean it later. All right, the microwave, I made some gravy and of course it went everywhere. So we're just going to warm up a cup of water in there. And I wanna clean the filters above the stove because we do oil for chips now and these get really greasy. I clean them at least once a month and one-handed, I cannot get them out. So the whole container just came down, which is fine. It needs to come down, but there's oil underneath the door, so I need to clean those. So I'm just rinsing the filters in some hot water. I did let them soak here for about half an hour while I clean all the oil and everything else from underneath the doors, as you can see here. I even opened the doors and then cleaned just on the inside. I was amazed at how much oil just goes everywhere. So giving this a quick scrub just to check if the water had boiled, I actually did it for two minutes, I just didn't show you. And then took all this out and then gave everything a scrub. And through the power of television, you will see it's clean. Okay, time to clean the stovetop and <laughs> put the filter holder back up. I love cleaning the stovetop. It just gives me so much satisfaction. It just looks so good when it's done. It's a bit fiddly in some of the areas, but I'm happy when it is done. And of course, it means wiping the tiles and the splash back around it and the little burners and cleaning those off on the top. But once it's done, I'm pretty happy. I put the filters back and I can see there's still a whole lot of oil. So I'm going to put them back in with some more dishwasher washing soap, boil the kettle, put some boiling hot water in there. I'm going to add some more boiling hot water from the tap and I'm going to literally let them seat overnight because look at that. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. I'm even more happier that I'm able to do this one handed and put it all back. I usually can't do that. Oh, they look so much better. It is the next day and we are back in the kitchen. Yes didn't get around to doing everything last night was just too tired that's the reality of my life so today we are unpacking all the shopping sorting it all out you would have already seen a couple of grocery hauls that I filmed and upcoming soon will be the next stockpile haul that I did so watch for that now we're going to clean the oven one of probably my most hated jobs because it never seems to be able to get clean and there's just too many parts to it. <laughs> I do love cleaning this glass. However, I feel that I get some really good results from it. Probably because I keep on top of the glass. And so it doesn't get too dirty. The glass is what keeps the door down. Because it's so heavy. So if you take it out and you're not aware. The actual other part of the door will just flip open. <laughs> I've caught myself a couple of times. All right, got to clean the rest of the oven and again, no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I do have a oven cleaner spray, but it smells. And when you put the light on, this little fan comes on. So the smell kind of goes through the house. It's not very good at all. So I try and use just the most tiniest bit. So I've put the glad wrap over the top of it like Ari Katarina does on YouTube, hopefully to clean it. And, and I'm going to leave it to sit. I am cleaning the oven racks with a barkeeper's friend of all things and oh I am so impressed at how easily all of the grease came off of this so super happy. 
All right, let's go back to the oven and check. I probably didn't leave it long enough to be honest, but the smell was just, ugh. so I thought let's just clean it out. And I'm gonna stick some barkeeper's friend in there and then see if I can move anything around. Probably should have put some more glad wrap in there because it just dried out so much, which you'll see later on. So we're just gonna leave that again to settle for a while. All right, we need to clean the dishwasher because last couple of loads, the dishes haven't been super clean. We do use rinse aid and then some people talk about using vinegar inside dishwasher, but then other people say don't, it's an acid and it will corrode. I don't know who's what where anymore. So I'm going to use my steam cleaner and see how that works. I got this steam cleaner from Kmart look it's fine for what it is however i would love to get one of the other ones that i've seen people have i think they're at bunnings uh, not a karcher but something similar and yeah so i'm just basically <laughs> making it up as i go along and steam cleaning everything that's in there and wiping it it's really hard cleaning the dishwasher you have to keep bending over all the time and then I'm going to pull out all the drawers and then all the other bits and pieces and pull it all apart. Luckily, I have done this before, so I know that it will go back together again. But yeah, it just takes a little bit of time and effort. I can't believe, but I can at the same time, how gross everything is <laughs> and how quickly everything builds up. So it's very greasy and grimy and I blame half of the hot chocolates that we have in the house if people don't rinse out their cups fully in the dishwasher. Me included, not putting the blame on anyone, it's life. So putting it all back together again and it fits, hooray! Um, <laughs> except... It took me forever to get the drawer back in again because, oh, <laughs> it's not my forte. And then we came back to wipe over the oven. This actually took a little bit extra to get all the bits out and then to get the shelves back in again. Oh, I tell you, <laughs> please don't time me for anything. I will still be doing it next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And let me know what thing do you hate cleaning the most in your kitchen? Because I swear, that oven. <laughs> Subscribe. We'd love to have you here as part of our Frugal Fun family. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.